In this rapid review video, we're going to be looking at the standard algorithm for long division when we have a four-digit dividend and a one-digit divisor. Remember, when we are dividing, we use our wrap to help us. The steps that are set in the wrap are divide, multiply, and subtract, bring it on down, then bring it on back. So we're going to use these steps to help us solve this problem today. So let's start with the first step, divide. We're going to ask ourselves, how many times does 5 go into 4? Another way to think about it is 5 times what gets me 4 or close to 4? Well, we know that 4 is not a part of the 5 facts, which means that 5 can't go into 4. So we put a 0 on top. Next, we need to multiply. We always multiply the number we put on top by the digit in our divisor. In this case, 0 times 5 equals 0. Then we subtract 4 minus 0 equals 4. And we ask ourselves, is 4 less than 5? It is, so we can move on to the next step, which says bring it on down. So we bring that 6 down, turning the 4 into a 46, and then we bring it on back and start the process all over. This time, looking at the 46 and the 5, asking ourselves how many times can 5 go into 46, or 5 times what gets me close to 46. I know, using my facts, that 5 times 9 is 45. So I'm going to put the 9 up here, and then move on to the next step, which is multiplying. 9 times 5 is 45. Now I can subtract 46 minus 45 equals 1. And I ask myself, is 1 less than 5? It is, so I can keep going. I'm going to bring down my 0, turning my 1 into a 10. And then I bring it on back and start the process over again. This time, looking at 10 and 5. Well, this is easy. My fact family tells me that 5 times 2 is going to give me 10. So I'm going to do that and then subtract. 10 minus 10 equals 0. But I'm not done because I still have to bring down my 7. The last step is going to ask myself, how many times can 5 go into 7? Well, I know it can only go in one time. I multiply 1 times 5, and that gives me 5. I subtract 7 minus 5, and that gives me 2. Is 2 less than my divisor 5? It is. So, because there's nothing else for me to pull down, that becomes my remainder. So, the quotient is 921 with a remainder of 2. Now, I always check my work. In order to check my work, I'm going to take my quotient, 921, and I'm going to multiply it by my divisor, 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 1, bring down the 0. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 1 is 46. Don't worry. It's okay that it doesn't match your dividend yet because I still have to add in my remainder. So I'm going to add my 2, which gives me 7, 0, 6, 4. And look at that. It's the same as my devised dividend, which means I got the problem correct. 4,607 divided by 5 is 921 with a remainder of 2. And that's how we divide using the standard algorithm for long division. Just remember to divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Thanks for watching.